Hey everyone, who wants to build a rocket today? And by that I mean a really big rocket. Let's get started. One of the first things I need to do is mark and install the top rail button or rail guide. I have not installed the bottom one yet, although I have drilled the holes for it. What I'm going to do is leave off the rear centering ring and that way I have access to the airframe and I can install that later. Any part that's fiberglass needs to be washed in hot soapy water and then scuffed with 120 grit or greater sandpaper for it to adhere properly to the epoxy. The kit came with three centering rings and I decided to make up another plywood ring out in the workshop. It's not real pretty but it'll get the job done. The motor mount is really long so I just thought it needed another one. It's one thing you want to do is check your kit and make sure it has all the parts you need when you get it. I have a stainless steel U-bolt here with Loctite on the nuts. Don't forget to tie on the shock cord before you install it into the rocket airframe because trust me, it is no fun trying to fish that uh, shock cord into this ring once it's installed. I also have glued plywood strips onto the motor tube and I just hot glued them on there. And what this will be is a well for the epoxy. So once I glue the motor mount into the airframe, I'll go through the fin slot and inject epoxy into this area right here and flood this. This will make a super secure connection for the fin when it goes in like this. And then that way I have fillets on the inside of the motor mount, which are really super strong. Check out my video on rail guides and rail buttons for more information. Also, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. And to follow this build, make sure you hit that subscribe button for more build videos. Until then, we'll see you later.